Hello, this is Mr. Beck, and this is a tutorial designed for my eighth grade Android programming class. It's part three. In part two, we looked at the on options item selected method, and we set it up so it would work with our two icons that exist right now in our action bar. And you can see up here, here's our action bar with our plus icon, and this is what I've defined as our undo icon. Uh, what we want to do is, the goal right now for this video is we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to make it so that when you click the plus sign, the color of the paint dot changes. Okay, so it's going to, you're click it once, it's going to turn to green. We'll click it twice, it'll turn to blue. Uh, we'll click it three times, it'll turn to something else, and then we'll click it again, it'll go back to red. Or something along those lines. So that's where we're headed. Now, inside of main activity right now, we're collecting information from the user. We're doing things like when the user touches the screen, we're setting an X and Y coordinate here. Um, and when the user selects an icon in the action bar, we're recognizing that, but we're not doing anything. Okay? Now, over in panel class, we've got our on draw method, and this undraw method is happening uh, very quickly. It's it's a loop. It's the screen is constantly being drawn to. Okay, so uh, if I were to declare a variable up at the top of the class and call it count, and I were to say count plus plus here, uh, without any further inter inter intervention from me, after about thirty seconds, the value of count would be fairly high. It would go up very quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because the on draw function is constantly looping. And that's something to keep in mind. So every time the on draw loops at this point, we're setting a paint value here um, to you know alpha RGB, alpha being 255. It is not transparent. The red value is 255. Green is zero, blue is zero, making this the color red. And then on the canvas, we're drawing a circle at the position 200, 200, with a radius of 30, and we're using that paint object. And, you know, the result of that is we get the appearance, right, of a static red dot. So, let's change the color. Now, over here inside of main activity, um, we want to be able to modify a value that can be detected over here. So we're going to use a static variable. And the way I'm going to have you do it for this one is we're going to create a getter setter class. I'm going to say new and then class. And I did that by right clicking on the package here, new class. And let's go ahead and call this getter setter. Now the only thing we're going to go ahead and put in our getter setter classes are static variables. So I'm going to say public static int color equals zero. Now this word static is a new one for my class and what it means is the variable is initialized one time at the beginning of the program the variable belongs to the getter setter class and we can access it directly by referencing the getter setter class name. So we don't create an instance of getter setter to access static variables. It won't work. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. I'm going to come over here to the main activity class and underneath where it says r.id plus, every time the user presses plus, I'm going to modify now the value of color in the getter setter class. So I'm going to say getter setter dot color right here. I'm going to go plus plus. We'll just add one to it. So, and you'll notice that I'm referencing the class directly. I have not created an instance of that class. I'm referencing the class directly this time. So the user pluses, presses plus once. We get a value of color which would be one, they, twice the value would be two, three times the value would be three. Now let's limit 
right here how high the value of color can be because I really don't feel like coding in 100 colors right now. So let's create an if statement that will help us sort of manage the maximum value this can be. So I'm going to say, okay, if getter setter dot color is less than three, go ahead and add to the value of it. So if getter setter dot color is two, go ahead and add one to it and make it three. That's great. Else, right? Otherwise, getter setter dot color, right? Equals zero. So this way, when they press plus plus, it'll become one. They'll press plus, it'll become two. They'll press plus, it'll become three. But then once it's three, they'll press plus, and this is no longer true. Therefore, the value of color will drop back down to zero. Okay, so one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero. Uh, that's sort of the progression that it will take as the user presses the plus icon. All right, take a look at that and uh, make sure you've got that there at this point. If you're in my class, you're going to need that little logic block. Pretty simple. Now let's go over to panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to check for the value of color, right? And uh, we're going to modify simply the color of the paint. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna, let's do it with if statements again. I'm going to say if getter setter dot color equals zero at this point right let's go ahead and set the paint to red now that's what it is at the beginning of the application right so when the application starts we're gonna see a little off center red dot all right and we'll go ahead and let's copy this out so that we can get to three zero one two three and okay, so if getter setter color equals one, right, we'll erase the 255 in the red value, and I'll put 255 in green. So if the value of that color integer in getter setter is one, the paint object will be, okay, um, the alpha is 255, it's not transparent, red is zero, green is 255, blue is zero, all right? If it's two, we'll go ahead and make it blue this time. So I'm gonna make the value of red zero. I'm gonna keep the value of green zero. And I'm gonna change the value of blue to 255, right? And the last one, if getter setter color equals three, let's go ahead and just sort of have a little fun. I'm gonna say 23 and then 122. And over here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to write five. Some random color, okay? And that's going to work because uh, based on what we have, it really shouldn't fall out of these, um, these parameters. Now, you know, if we wanted to protect ourselves at the very top here, we could copy this. And we could say, okay, no matter what, you know, at the very beginning of on draw, we're going to have a, a red color, right? But then if, you know, these things happen, we're going to modify it. That, that may be a good idea. That's a good plan a lot of times. Um, okay. And then once it checks the value of color inside of Getter Setter and determines the color of the paint based on that, it's going to go ahead and it's going to draw that same circle. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this program. And uh, let's, let's test it out. Here I am with the application open. And I'm going to click the plus sign, and I'm now going to modify the value of color inside of getter setter to 1. And based on that, the dot should change to green. Boom. I'm going to click it again. It should change to blue. I'm going to click it again. It should change some random value. All right. Now, I've clicked it three times. Right? So the value of getter setter color in my program is 3. Let's go to the main activity and look at what happens there. All right, in this case, we're going to click plus again here in a second. 
And if the value is less than three, add to color. But that's not going to be the case because now it is three, right? So in this case, it's going to set the color back to zero, right? And over here inside of our panel class, in the event that getter setter color is zero, the color of the paint is going to be red, right? So let's see if that's valid. I'm going to click plus, and it does indeed turn back to red. So at the end of this video, you should be able to click your plus icon and change the color of the dot. And again, if you have any problems with any of this, please raise your hand in class. Or of course, uh, if you're out there on the internet somewhere uh, and you need some assistance or you have a comment, uh, please feel free to leave it uh, on the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and uh, we will continue on in the next video.